Greetings C++ enjoyers. It has been four months since I have last posted a video and well, I am back. So without any further delay, let's get right into how to create a batch file that can run different types of applications. And by types of applications, I am referring to programs involving OpenGL, Windows API and console application code. Okay, so the first step is to go to your VS Code settings and type in Code Runner Executor Map and make sure you select the option that I have underlined here in red. The next step is to search for the code labeled CPP in double quotes under the Code Runner Executor Map heading and replace it with the code you see on screen, after which you will do some editing as it won't work correctly for you just yet. Okay, so on screen you will see that I have once again displayed the replacement code. However, below it I have extracted a folder address from the code. This should be a folder path of your choice where you want that batch file to be. So it won't necessarily be the same as mine. Remember, this is the path that I chose my batch file to be. So you're just simply going to be choosing a path where you want yours to be. I just realized I haven't showed you how to create a batch file, so um, here's how you do it. It's really simple, so you're just gonna go to your destination folder, you right click, you say new and text document, and I'm just gonna give it a name, um, let's say DNS or DNA and dot BAT enter. And you just say yes to that message and just wait a bit and there you go you have a .bat or batch file okay so simple as you can see I have opened my file manager and here you can see the name of my batch file and notice its name matches the one I have in the replacement code this is very important as it won't work if there is a difference in the names Another important thing to note is that the extension .bat is included in the name of the batch file in the code, so make sure you have this. Now you can close your settings tab and open the batch file by going to File, Open File and then search for it in the File Manager window that pops up. Once you have found it, click on it and select Open at the bottom right corner of the window. Okay, now comes the actual script that will make it possible to run multiple types of applications. I will be brief with the explanation of how the script works when it is run by Code Runner. Okay, so lines 4 to 14 is simple checking to see if the C++ file that you have open and working with contains specific lines of code. So for the Windows API, it will be the code that reads number sign include windows.h for OpenGL, it can be either the inclusion of the glfw3.h or glew.h headers and the same principle is applied for SDL. Now line 16 and beyond is the configurations for OpenGL, Windows API and the SDL code. Only one of these configurations will be used at a time whenever you use Code Runner to run this batch file and the configuration that is used will depend on the string of code that is found in your C++ file as I explained previously. Now I'm simply scrolling through the code slowly so you can pause the video to type out the code. Okay, okay, I've created a shared Google Drive link for you to download it. Are smiling faces now? Okay, good. I will still continue scrolling and encourage you to type it out as doing so will aid in your understanding of how it works and it is good practice. Now this section of the code that you see on screen is what I call the default configuration and will only be run if none of the string of code that was written in lines 4 to 14 were found. This configuration will run any console application file like your simple hello world program that writes to the Windows console. And that's it. You can now close the batch file and we can now test it out to see if it works. The first test is with your standard hello world program that writes to the Windows console or command prompt. So let's check it out. And there you go. Hello world. Alright, so let's move on to the next test.
Now testing to see if our OpenGL window code will run. Okay, nice. Our OpenGL window code runs. All right, so on to the final test. Here I have my other window code, but this time it's with the Windows API. Let's check it out. And once again, success. So there you go.